Hi and welcome back. In this and the next video, we're going to make it so that all the data that we take from Open Weather Map is displayed on our webpage. First of all, we need to find all the elements for which we need to insert the data. The first element has the class called Weather City, so we can search for this element by its class name. To do this, we type in let city equals document.query selector, and of course, we add the class name in the parenthesis. In fact, we can search for all other elements by their class names. The second element has the class name weather day. That's why we type in let day equals to document.query selector and then specify the class name in the parenthesis. Now we need to apply the same approach for the weather indicators. The first element has the class called weather indicator humidity. Create a variable called humidity and after that use the query selector. Then we need to apply the same steps for the element with the class name Weather Indicator Wind. Again, we create a new variable called Wind and search for this element by its class name. The next element has the class called Weather Indicator Pressure. Create a new variable called Pressure and then search for this element by its class name. Now we also need to find the weather icon. This element has the class weather image. So create a variable called image for this element. Finally, we need to search for the element with the class name weather temperature. Let's create a variable called temperature for this element. I would like to draw your attention to one very important thing. For the humidity indicator, we cannot insert the data in this block. We need to insert it into the element with the class name value. The same approach has to be applied for the wind, pressure and temperature indicators. So here we add the element with the class name value. Let's apply the same thing for the wind indicator, the pressure indicator, and also for the temperature indicator. When the user types in some city in this search box and then hits enter, we need to display the requested data on the web page. So let's search for this element. It has the class called Weather Search. That's why we search for the element by its class name Weather Search. When the user hits enter, we need to take some actions. So with the help of Add Event Listener, we specify that when the key down event happens, then some actions have to be taken. To identify which key was pressed, we need to add the letter E, which stands for event. E is the special object that stores all the information about the event. Let's display this object in the console. Save and refresh. I press the Enter key. As a result, the keyboard event has been generated. We see that the key code of the Enter key is the number 13. So if e.keycode equals to the number 13, then the getWeatherByCityName function has to be called. And we pass the value of search input to this function. So that we can work with the weather object further in the code. We create a variable called weather and assign the result to this variable. Of course, we need to replace console.log with the return weather in the getWeatherByCityName function. As you can see, the getWeatherByCityName function is an asynchronous function. So to assign the result to the weather variable, we need to add the word await. Since we just used the word await, we need to add the word async before this function. 
Just to check that everything works, let's for now display the value of the weather variable in the console. Save and refresh. I type in the word new. As you can see, so far nothing has been displayed in the console. Now I type in New York and hit enter. As a result, we see that the object has appeared in the console. The name is New York and the temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Alright, it works. Ok, let's make it so that this date is displayed on our web page. To do this, we are going to create a function called update current weather. To update the weather details, we need to pass some data to this function. The first thing that we need to insert is a city name. So we add city.textContent equals. The name of the city is stored in the key, which is called name. That's why we type in data.name. As you can see in the original, First comes the name of the city, then comma, and after that the name of the country. That's why we add plus, comma, and the code of the country. The code of the country is stored in the key with the name sys and then inside of country. So we add data.sys.country. Now, instead of console weather, we need to call the update current weather function. We pass the value of the variable weather to this function. Ok, let's check it out. I type in New York and then hit enter. And we see New York, US. Excellent, everything works. Alright, we move on to the next element, which is a weekday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday and so on. To get the weekday, we need to take several steps. To make it more convenient, let's create a function called day of week. Since we need to display the current day, first of all, we need to create an object of the current date. So we type in new date. To find out the name of the weekday, we need to convert the object of the current date into a local date string. So we add dot and then to local date string. As you can see, JavaScript tells us this function has two parameters. The first parameter is called locals, meaning in which language we want the result to be displayed. For instance, if we need it to be displayed in English, then we must set en-en. If in French, then we have to set fr-fr. Since we need English, we set en-en. The second parameter is called date-time format options. In this parameter, we need to specify what exactly we need to take from local date string. So we specify that we want to take a weekday. The weekday key has two values. The first possible value is short, which is when we only get the first letters of the weekday. The second possible value is long, which is when we get the whole name of the weekday. Since we want the whole name of the weekday, we set long. Let's add the return keyword so that we can use this value in other functions. Finally, we assign the result of the day of week function to day.textContent. Ok, let's check how it works. I type in New York and hit enter. At the time when I'm recording this video, it's Friday. That's why you see New York Friday. Hmm, Friday in New York. The very first what comes to mind is how Frank Sinatra is singing his legendary song New York, New York. Well guys. I think it is the right time to relax a bit. Listen to some music, maybe drink a cup of coffee or tea, but don't rest too long, because I'm already eagerly waiting for you in the next lesson. See you there!